Hi, this is Brad Borbeck with Turnkey Technologies, and I'm going to quickly show you how to create your own personalized dashboard in Microsoft Dynamics 365 for Sales. Um, Dynamics 365 for Sales lets you easily build your own filtered lists, create a chart using that list, and then easily place it in your dashboard, as well as other components uh, such as Power BI tiles, iframes, and other resources from the web. So the first step you're going to do is create your list view which we will then use to build our chart. So for the purposes of this demonstration, I'm just going to quickly create a leads view. And this dashboard is going to show us my leads that have been created in the last month by their source type. OK? So we're in the leads view here. There's two ways you can build your view. You can either add filters in here. Um, but in my opinion, the easiest way is to use advanced find. So you will pull up your advanced find query here. And we're going to choose a new query. We're going to choose owner equals current user. So that's myself. And then we're going to choose created in or created on the last X days. And we are going to say the last 30 days. OK, we're going to save this view. Okay, so we have our view saved. We're going to go ahead and pull it up and see what that looks like. Okay, so it looks like I've got four leads that were created in the last month that I currently own. Okay, so now that our lead view is created, we're going to go ahead and create our chart. So you're going to click the Show Chart button here. And then click the ellipses and then choose New. So here you can choose what view you want to build this chart off of. Um, currently, it only goes from system views. But we're going to go ahead and build our own chart, and we're going to add it to the view that we just created. So this is going to be my leads, or we'll just call this leads by source type. And here we're going to choose the y-axis, which is the series. For that, we are going to choose leads. And then here you can see it is counting all the leads as its, as its feature. So then the horizontal axis is the category. We're going to choose source type for that. And so here you can kind of see a preview of the chart. You see we've got our different source types at the bottom, which we'll get a clear view of in a second. And then you can see here it's counting the leads that are in each of those source types. So we're going to click Save. We're going to go ahead and close out of this. And we're going to go ahead and check out that chart really quick. And we're going to choose the drop down here and choose the one we just created. OK, so here's a much clearer view of that chart as it is applied to the list view here. So now we've got our view created. We've got our chart created. Now we're going to go ahead and add this into a dashboard. So click your Dashboards button here. It's going to take you to usually where you start off in the system. We're going to click New and create our own dashboard. Here you can choose what kind of layout you would like, depending on uh, the type of dashboard it is. You can emphasize certain things or de-emphasize certain things and more or less customize this however you want. And this is just a starting point, too. Once you choose your layout, you have the ability to um, customize that layout from there and drag and drop things. So we're going to choose Create. And here you can choose what component goes into each area of the dashboard. So we're going to go ahead and start off with our chart that we just made. That was based on lead records. And remember, this dashboard is going to show us our leads created this month by their source type. So this chart is based on lead records. We're going to choose the view that we just created. Um, which was leads created in the last 30 days. And then we're going to choose the chart we created for that view, which was leads by source type. We're going to choose Add. And there it is. 
Now we're going to add the list to that chart, just that if, just in case we're curious, we can see that list right alongside the chart and see what's kind of compiling it. On that note, you can also uh, view the records that make up the chart once we save this dashboard by choosing the little drill down button here. So we're going to add our list here. Again, that was based on leads. And we're going to choose the view that we created. And we're going to choose Add. It doesn't show up when you're building it, but it will show up once we click Save and view it. So we're going to call this My Leads by Source Time. Or we'll call this dashboard this month's leads by source type. Or actually, we'll just call this dashboard this month's leads. We're going to save it. And we're going to go ahead and expand this list out to uh, be a little wider. And I'm going to show you how to do that here. So we're going to move some things around really quick. Um, I'm going to choose to increase the width of this box. And then you can see you can kind of uh, mess with these as necessary by increasing their height, increasing their width. And of course, you can add your different components into here as necessary. So we're going to click Save and just keep it simple for now. Click Close. And here is our little dashboard we just created. Again, you can add other components to this, such as Power BI tiles and other resources from the web. Um, perhaps publicly available data that's published on a certain website. You can pull iframes into here and um, have that right where you're working from. So that is the basics on how to create your own personal dashboard in Microsoft Dynamics 365 for sales. I hope you guys find that helpful, and if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to Turnkey Technologies.